The Drama Teachers Member Site is a resource centre with about 425 different pieces of content. And we added 100 pieces of content since January last year when we went live. So it is growing very quickly. We have all of these different sections that you can see on the screen. I will just give a bit of an overview of the key areas of the site. We'll run through what's new, what's already on the site. Lisa will give a quick demo. I'll talk about the pricing and the license and we can answer any questions. So what's new? We added two new sections recently, or we're in the process of adding the second of the two new sections. So we've added a, set, a, a new section of classic monologues. We've always had short monologues, so that sort of one, two, three minute audition duration, and then IP ready monologues that sort of six to eight minutes. Now we're adding classics. We added in 42 classic monologues a few weeks ago. We have been compiling these from literature and plays and history, et cetera. And we're, we're planning to add another hundred of these throughout the year. So this down the bottom is just an example of what it looks like on the website. You, you can see there a little bit of information about the script, a brief synopsis, an image, and you can just download it there. So these are the new classic scripts that we have added to kick off this new section. There's 42 of them from here, there and everywhere really, like I said, and then we uh, will continue to expand this new library as we go. We have another new section called classroom lessons. These are designed to be like a kind of a double period or a 30, 40 minute session that you can use for these different pieces of content. So there's eight of them. We have six lessons that you can take into the class. So we estimate that it probably take a full lesson, maybe even a couple, depends how you wanna run it. Um, and then two of them are more like assignments because you're not going to get them done uh, in, in a really quick time. So one example of these lessons is comedy slash drama. The goal is to do the same script once as a comedy and once as a drama without changing any of the words. And we provide some resources to assist with that. So we have a, a video lesson on some ideas on how to do that, some tips. We have a, a resource sheet which covers, um, you know, the same things. We have a few script options. So this is something that really does rely quite heavily on the script. You're not going to be able to make a comedy or a drama out of everything. We have some sample videos as well of performances of people doing great comedic or dramatic monologues and some tips on what to do whilst watching those to get the most out of your own comedic and dramatic performances. Now I'm just going to run through what's already on the site. On the Drama Teachers member site or DTMS as we call it, we have currently 233 scripts. So they're, they're all monologues, I should point out. There's three full playwriting courses. So essentially they are five or six week courses. It's 17 separate lessons on playwriting and we have matched that to the script writing IP criteria. There's a lot of lessons, there's a lot of video content, there's a lot of uh, exercises, writing exercises, templates, I'll show you in a sec as well. We have monologue masterclasses, which are long form video based lessons. So they're sort of 20 to 40 minute um, duration, something around there. And we've got four different video libraries. So with the script banks, at this stage, we have 48 IP suitable monologues available. Um, 143 short or audition pieces in those 42 classics. So basically this is growing all the time at the rate of, you know, one to two pieces of new content every week on average. Some of the scripts do have strong language and adult themes, etc. We have classified those on the website. So we have a filter which says dirty or clean. If it's dirty, it's got swear, swearing and or strong adult uh, content, which may not suit some students or some schools. If it's clean, it should be pretty good for most, most schools. This is just a, a quick view of what it looks like on the website. You can sort by, uh, you can filter, sorry, the content out. There's a little bit of information on the scripts, a synopsis, and you just click to download. So it's pretty easy to interface with, and it's pretty easy to find the kind of content that you or your students might be interested in. The Playwright Boost, as I mentioned, it's 17 lessons or a three full short five or six week courses. I just show you quickly on the website, it's, it's all grouped by week. 
or by lessons. I think that's probably more than what you would fit into one classroom lesson because you'd probably spend a lot more time doing exercises and feedback. But um, yeah, there's quite a lot of content there. Down the bottom, you can see there's this thing called the character generator, which essentially allows you to randomly generate a character that you could use for writing or for performance from that many combinations. It's, it's so large a number. I don't even know what the word is for it. It's beyond a quadrillion. So that's a, that's pretty cool for exercises. I use that when I teach acting um, and writing. Sometimes I'll just create a new character in real time using the generator and get people to do a little improv scene or to write a script from that character's perspective. A couple of example pieces of content here, some script templates. So if you have a student who wants to write a play, we've got both the, the Australian and the, and the US format. We have these master classes, which are basically a deep dive into specific scripts. So we've taken one of the six to eight minute monologues that are suitable for the IP, and we've created a whole pack around this. You have it, all these additional resources, different versions of the scripts. If there's swearing, we've got versions without the swearing just to make it a bit easier. We've got cut down versions because sometimes they do run a little over the six to eight minute marks and that way the students don't have to make the decisions on what to, to cull out. We've got audio recording so the students can learn their lines easily, a kind of written breakdown. And we've got some video content as well. So just some isolated moments from each script being performed and then some tips on uh, ideas how you could do those things better. We also have interviews with people who have performed these uh, scripts either for their HSC or for professional productions. And we have all these different video libraries as well. So I've mentioned the lessons. We also have reaction videos, which is where I, as a theater and film director, have watched someone's monologue performance that's been submitted to me and I break it down I watch it, I pause, I react to it, I, I break it down. I talk about the things that I like that they're doing, the things where I see they could improve, et cetera. So there's a, a small library of those. We've got a library of professional actors performing the monologues that are available on the site. We have a whole bunch of uh, content that help people develop their careers in the arts. So we thought it would be a good addition for those students who are really serious about doing something in the arts. They're short videos. They're around about three minutes each and pretty easy to consume. They're based on different topics. So it's just a bit of a value add for those students who are really keen to um, explore going into the arts or entertainment world uh, after school. And now I will hand over to Lisa to just give you guys a quick demo of the site. Okay. So this is the, um, the, the Drama Teachers Member site. This is the, the, the public page. Um, so once you sort of have access, you can click onto this member portal here on the top right. It will get you to sign in, just um, email, password, and then click on login. Uh, so this is the member portal. It's fairly straightforward. Um, and if you scroll down, um, you can see that these are where you can access your content and courses. So you have, we have two sections here. This is all the content and, and all the courses. And the second section is the video libraries. Um, so if you clicked on the script, this is the 10 minute monologues. As Pete was saying, um, this is everything. So if you wanted to uh, filter on, you know, clean monologues only, um, you click on that. And these are all the available monologues that you have that, that is clean. Um, and as you can see, it's the name of the monologue, a little synopsis, a little bit about what it is about. So this is a drama for Apocalypse, Apocalypse Soon. And to download, just click on that. So if you um, wanted to see uh, comedy, you can click on that and you can see the com comedy. Um, you go back home to the homepage. So this is clicking onto the masterclass. So this is where we have much more resources around um, a specific monologue that's six to eight minutes long. Um, so you can see there's all the different resource packs that you can download, or if you're happy to download the whole thing at once, you just click on there. So it's fairly um, straightforward. Um, these are the bonus video content. So it's just all the masterclass top tips um, for that particular monologue. So you can see some performances and some feedback. So that's the monologue masterclass. Um, going back again, short monologues um, and classic monologues are set up is, pre is pretty much the same. Um, you go into there and again, there's um, those filters that you can click on to find what it is. And particularly for the short monologues, we do specify a duration. 
so you know whether it's 90 seconds or should be a two minute monologue because that would help out a little bit. Going on to the writing courses, you can see that that's where all the Playwright Boost courses are. So you can see that that's um, the course checklist and then the actual videos um, that you, you can share with the students or the students can watch some fact sheets and exercises. And again, you just click on it to download it. Um, and there's the character generator um, in, in there. So that's pretty much um, the content in courses. So moving on to our li video libraries, um, if you click on to the monologue lessons, um, they're all pretty much um, set up in a similar way. You can see that it's the monologues, some of the lessons here. And again, it's pretty straightforward. Just click on to this and it plays it. Um, and if you, and you can open it up in, in YouTube um, if you want to show it for the students. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you, Lisa. Like I mentioned, we 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 add in one or two monologues every week. We're, we're probably we'll probably add about 150 new scripts this year. Maybe not maybe not quite. Maybe maybe 130, 140. So it's quite a lot of new content being added all of the time. If you like a particular section on the site, we're really happy to be responsive to what you're interested in so if if you love the reaction videos we can do more of those so for those who are not in a position to get a subscription for whatever reason we do have some free content available i've been providing monologues and content for the hsc market for about 12 15 years and i always want to make sure that at least there's some content for students to access because not everybody can you know has the resources to to get something like a subscription service or it's all just too hard or something like that so if you go onto the site there is a free content section I'll just quickly run through the subscription and pricing pricing and licensing so we have two different ways of doing this you, there's a license for teacher access only or there's a license for both teacher and student access if you get the latter, you have to use two different accounts and you get one account that you give to students. So you give them the email address and the password for the site, not for your own email address. Then you give that to your students and they put those details into the site. They can log in and they can access content. Pricing, it's a bit annoying. We have to have our prices in US dollars. I won't bore you with the reasons, but basically it's all technical reasons. It's an annual 12 month subscription. The I've put an Australian dollar conversion there. So it's 189 US dollars for an annual subscription just for teachers, which is about 270 Australian. Or if you want to get the teacher and student, as you can see, it's 323 AUD as of today's conversion rate. We give a pretty steep discount if you are already a member and you're renewing after 12 months. In terms of the license, the way that it works in short is that you have the license to use any of the content while you are a subscriber. Use any anything in class for exercises, homework, analysis, giving it to your students to use for the IP, whatever. Basically, one license allows any teacher at your same school to use it. So if you have a drama department or English and drama and the English teacher wants to use some of the content, then we're very happy for you to share it within your school. We just ask that you're careful with, um, you know, passwords and login details. If you have my scripts from the past, those ones that are free on the website, you can continue to use those. If you've purchased them e either through a subscription or through uh, one of my books, you can continue to use them. Otherwise, you need to have an active subscription to continue using um, scripts that you might have downloaded when they were available for free in the past. That's about it, really, folks. Um, we'll catch you later. I think we might leave it there. <laughs>